Feeling lost in RuneScape 3? Catch up fast with this Returning Player's Guide 2024. Hey everyone, welcome back to Gilinor. This guide is for those veterans of RuneScape 3 who haven't played in a while and are feeling overwhelmed by the changes. Don't worry, we'll get you back up to speed in no time. I took a break from the game for about 10 years and then came back a year or two, so I found that I was missing a ton of content and a guide like this would probably have helped me. As this is a super broad topic, with so many things to cover I'll probably miss quite a few of them, so I'll go over just some of the major game changing things that I can think of. If I miss things, which I probably will, let me know in the comments. The big changes. New interface. The interface is completely different. It's way more customizable now. You can even have your inventory and prayer screen open at the same time. You can access the interface settings by pressing escape and going into gameplay and additional options. And there is a legacy mode option there. It might be better to just get familiar with a new interface as it does allow a lot more flexibility. Legacy mode. If you find the new interface too much, you can switch to legacy mode, which is similar to the old interface. However, be warned it's not as efficient for high level bosses and other game mechanics. Tips and tricks. Authenticator. Secure your account with the RuneScape Authenticator and consider using one for your email as well. I had my account broken into a while ago and it's not fun. I definitely recommend doing this one. Loyalty points. Members get loyalty points monthly. Spend them on cool cosmetics and super useful auras that boost your combat or skilling. Solomon's Store. Check out Solomon's Store for free bank boosters to increase your bank space and other auras and cosmetic items. Clan Chat. Join a clan for social interaction, helpful advice and group activities like bosses or skilling. It also gives you something to do while you're AFKing your skills. Treasure Hunter. While some dislike it, Treasure Hunter uses real life currency for cosmetic overrides and boosts. It's completely optional, but some promotions offer free keys and you get three keys per day just for having membership. Daily Challenges. Complete daily challenges like collecting bizwax, which you can use to charge your quick teleports or you can just sell it if you need some quick GP. Or you can do the challenges under the adventure tab for free treasure hunter keys and XP. Bank Management. Utilize tools like price checkers to see item values on the Grand Exchange, RuneScape's marketplace, and organize your bank for easier access. I am yet to do this myself. Important Stuff Wars Retreat Wars Retreat unlocks after completing the quest Desolation of Armadil. It's a vital area for accessing bosses and has prayer recharge area, fire for boosting your health, and portals which you can assume quickly to access bosses for a price. It also has a combat dummy training area so you can test your damage and skills. If you're into bossing you will spend quite a lot of hours in this area. Auras. You can now use auras. Some can be purchased from Solomon's shop or unlock from other in-game activities. You can get ones that boost skilling and these can basically be used for boosts in almost every skill. Auras like Vampirism help with healing, and ones like Legendary Wisdom gives you 5% extra XP while it's active. You can also extend these auras using the Bizwax. Pocket Slot Items Pocket Slot Items are another item which is fairly new. You can get a Spring Cleaner which will automatically disassemble items or alk them. Then for combat you can use God Books which will assist in various other ways. There are also heaps of other pocket slot items that you can get. Evolving your combat. Action bars and revolution. Gone are the days of just special attacks. Now you have a special action bar fueled by adrenaline. You can select abilities to perform different maneuvers. It's like a strategic button mashing frenzy. Revolution. Don't worry, you don't have to memorize all of these abilities. Revolution mode automatically triggers them for you. You can set up different revolution bars for various situations and combat styles. You can also set the bars to switch depending on what type of weapon you're using. Practice makes perfect. 
get familiar with the new combat system by practicing on dummies. Wars retreat, training areas, and slayer tasks. Test the bars and see what works best for you. Also on the wiki are some great bar setups that you can use for each combat style. Charting your course. Achievement paths. Berthorpe has achievement paths that will introduce you to the new mechanics. Completing them will also unlock further tasks throughout the game. If you run out of stuff to do, or just want something different, just pick a new path and it will guide you through it. I'm surprised at how much I missed from doing all these paths. New cities and new adventures. High level hubs. Explore new cities like Prifness, Menaphos, and Fort 4 and 3. These places offer fantastic training areas for high level skills. Although unlocking Prifness is quite tricky and has a very long quest line to get there. It is well worth it after you have unlocked it though. Skilling like a pro. Tutorials. Every skill has an in-game tutorial, so don't skip them. Archaeology. This new skill lets you dig up artifacts and become a master archaeologist. Uncover ancient secrets and unlock powerful relics that boost your combat and skilling. Divination. Gather divine energy and memories to create helpful boons and signs. Imagine a portable bank for resources. Dungeoneering. This is everyone's favorite. Explore procedurally generated dungeons with unique puzzles and fearsome bosses. It's a great way to train a variety of skills, although it can be a bit boring. Invention. Disassemble unwanted items to get materials for creating awesome gadgets and perks that can seriously improve your gear. Mining and smithing rework. These skills have been revamped. Ores don't deplete anymore, and you gain experience for each hit on the rock. Remember the days when you used to mine a rock and it depleted? That was actually kind of good. There are also new ores and equipment tiers to discover. Necromancy, the newest combat style, lets you command the power of the undead. Raise an army of skeletal warriors or unleash the dark magic on your foes. Early goals. Here are some of the goals to set yourself for a smoother return. Train all your combat skills to 70, except summoning but definitely include prayer if you can. Acquire tier 70 God Wars 1 power armor. Complete the Camelot quest series for Excalibur and level 70 prayers. Unlock the Charming Imp for easier summoning training. Familiarize yourself with player owned farms, ports, forts, islands, and slayer dungeons. Earn 150 quest points for various additional rewards. That should keep you busy. Bossing for Beginners. Here are some of the bosses you can try and re-familiarize yourself with. PVM. King Black Dragon, Giant Mole, Arch Glacier, Normal Mode, Kriara, and the Dagonoth Kings, Standard Speed. Daily and Weekly Activities. Don't forget about these daily and weeklies that offer great rewards. The Guthix Cache, Divination. Rune Goldberg Machine for Vizwax, Herby Werby for Herb Lore and Fire Making, Tears of Guthix, Lower Skill, Giant Oyster Treasure Trail, and The Wilderness Flash Events, Combat and Skilling. Welcome back to RuneScape 3. With a ton of new content, bosses, skills, and quests, there's always something new to explore. Don't be afraid to ask questions, join a clan, and most importantly, have fun. Remember RuneScape has a massive and helpful community. If you ever get stuck, there are always people willing to lend a hand. The RuneScape wiki is also a great source for finding information on anything in the game. You can also type slash wiki in the chat box to open the wiki. I hope this guide has helped ease your transition back into Gilnor. Now get back out there and adventure. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe. Hopefully my nasally voice was not too annoying on this video, as I am just recovering from a cold.